More from Cat's Eyes now on BBC Two, finding out just how dangerous electricity can be. Welcome once more to Moggy News, folks, and a serious story this week of the dangers of electricity. Yes, folks, this week we're looking at electric shocks. <sighs> What's up doing with all that stuff, Jimmy? Building a spaceship? Well, he's not cooking pizzas, that's for sure. No. Looking at all those messy wires, I'd say it's something to do with electricity. Does he know what he's doing? Electricity's dangerous, isn't it? It certainly is, Duke. Even more dangerous than eating one of our pieces. Hello, you two. Uh, can I just borrow one of you to help with my experiment? Ah! No! Not me! Take him! Come on, you wouldn't mind being a guinea pig, would you? No! I like being a cat! That's a good boy. Just give me a little help. Duke! He's gonna turn me into a guinea pig! Ooh. Alf! What's going on? What are you doing with that poor cat? Ah, Katie, he's kindly offered to help try out my hairdryer. Hairdryer? For a cat? Right, I'm off! <laughs> No, no, for my customers. You see, I've had this wonderful idea. I'm going to turn the pizza parlour into Alf's hair and pizza salon. Clever, eh? Hair and pizza salon? Yeah, you have your hair done as you eat. I'll make a fortune. But, Alf, just look at this machine. You're not actually going to switch it on, are you? Any moment now. You can't, Alf. It's not safe. In fact, it looks deadly. Anything to do with electricity, you have to be extremely careful. I was careful. Look, I've taped up all the broken bits. I wonder what'll happen if he switches that thing on. I'll tell you what'll happen. There'll be a big bang and you'll never see me again. I think we should make a run for it. I think you'd look quite good with frizzy hair. Yeah, frizz is one thing. Burnt or a frazzle's another. I don't want it black and sooty with smoke coming from it, thank you. <sighs> Alf, if you're going to switch that machine on, I'm standing way over here where it's safe. The machine's fine. There's nothing to worry about. It's perfectly safe. I fixed it myself. Watch. <laughs> ah. I told you, Alf, you wouldn't listen. There, that's a bit safer. You haven't got a clue, have you? Sorry. With electric things, you should always check if it's years since they were made. Ah. So make sure that they're safe. Yes, and, and the, the flex, flex isn't tatty or frayed. If wires are sealed in a plastic coat, then they'll probably work just fine. Right, but if they're old and covered in cloth... It's a really dangerous sign. Ah, if, if plugs, plugs are loose or badly wired, you, you might need a visit from the dock. Never take a chance with electricity. You could get a deadly shock. Something works on electric power. You must never, ever let it get wet. Electricity and water are a really bad mix. As dangerous as you can get. If plugs are loose or badly wired, you might need a visit from the dock. Ah! Never take a chance with electricity. You, you could, could get, get a, a deadly, deadly shock. Catch up. Electricity is made in power stations and is carried to our homes in cables on enormous metal pylons. There's enough electricity in these cables to light a whole town. But if there's one thing that should never be forgotten about electric cables, it's how dangerous they are. The whole point of a pylon is to keep the cables way up high out of reach. That's because those cables carry enormous amounts of electric power and that power can kill. I've come to a research lab where scientists find ways to make electricity safe. It's a good place to discover just how dangerous electricity can be. 
This place is just incredible. It's like something out of a science fiction movie, filled with all these amazing gadgets, like this one. Now, this can create as much power as a bolt of lightning. You've all seen lightning on a stormy night, right? Well, what you have to do is imagine that this metal ball is the clouds in the sky and this metal ball is the ground. Now, what I'm going to do is make a lightning bolt that will jump from here to here. Sounds pretty dangerous, and even though I'm wearing this protective suit, I'm getting well out of the way, over here, near the switch that turns the power on. The machine's starting to crank up and the power's beginning to build, so just keep your eyes on those two metal globes. Did you see that? Well, keep watching, because it'll probably happen again in a second. That spark is what electricity actually looks like, and it's pretty obvious how dangerous it is. You see, if I went over and touched that, it would be like being hit by a bolt of lightning, and the shock would kill me. I discovered the frightening power hidden in these cables. Because pylons aren't climbing frames, they're deadly. And it's not just touching cables that's dangerous. It's not even safe to get close. Because there's another problem with electricity. It can jump out to find you. Back in the lab, they'd laid on an experiment to show electricity jumping. Right, take a look up there on the wall. Can you see there's a kind of mushroom-looking thing sticking out? That one up there at the top. Well, that's absolutely buzzing with electricity. And what we're going to do is send this dummy closer and closer to the end of the mushroom, which is just like someone stupidly getting too close to an electric cable. You'll see why we're using the dummy in a minute, because this is a very dangerous experiment. OK, let's take the hoist up. creeping forward. It's about a metre away. Half a metre. Did you see that? The dummy hadn't even touched the source of the power when the spark leapt out to find it. Electricity can kill. And it's not just pylons you have to stay away from. There's electricity in all sorts of places. In substations on railway lines, in old and empty buildings. Watch out for the danger signs. They're all clearly marked and just keep away. I hope you're getting rid of that hairdryer death trap. Yeah, one or two problems with that. So you've given up the have your hair done while you eat idea? Oh, no, 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 I'm still working on it. I've just gone a bit more modern, that's all. Katie, do you fancy a quick pizza and blow dry? Uh, not right at the moment, thanks all the same. Oh, what's wrong? Don't say this one's dangerous as well. No, it looks fine. It's new, isn't it? Brand new. That must mean it's safer. Usually, yes. Look, no frayed old cloth flex. It's got a modern plastic plug and cable. No danger of that coming loose. Great. So why don't you want a quick pizza and a blow dry? Because I'm not hungry and my hair isn't wet. I could wet it. Catch eyes. The Adventures of the Electro Mouse. Our hero saves the day again. Hmm. Huh? It all began up in the attic, when this mouse stumbled on an old junk toaster. <laughs> now, you and I know you don't mess with junk, especially electrical junk. But these two little fellas, well, they weren't that clued up. <laughs> it was a good thing I happened to be passing. <laughs> ah, are they? Hey, fella, sticking knives in toasters is bad news, isn't it? You were lucky this time, but... Uh, oh, hang on. 
Touch a bare wire, lad, and you're a dead mouse. Now, come here, I've got a much safer idea. I showed them this brand new toaster, right, with a brand new plug and that. Because remember, electricity can be safe. You just have to use it right. <laughs> I'm in the very old village of Tagote in Ireland. Now, up until only a few years ago, most of these buildings were in ruins, but now they've been rebuilt to look as they were hundreds of years ago. And today is going to be quite an interesting day because, armed with my toolbox, I've been asked to help put in electricity into some of the buildings for the very first time. This is one of the buildings that needs electricity. The electricity goes into the house from those wires over there. The wires then go under the ground and into the house. And this is where my friend Paddy and I take over. Now, wiring a house isn't easy, and if it's done wrong, it can be very dangerous. That's why you just have to know what you're doing. Hiya, Paddy. Hey, Sean. How are you doing? Fine. Paddy showed me how a house is wired. Electricity from outside comes in up a hole in the ground, and then it goes through a safety box which cuts off the power if there's ever a problem. So it makes electricity safe in the house? Yes, exactly. That's great. And there's lots of other wires here coming out. Those are the wires to main feeds through the pipe to the plugs and lights in the rest of the house. OK, well, can I help you with those? You certainly can. Great. With the power supply safely switched off, Paddy took me to see the rest of the house. There were loose wires everywhere. To make them safe, we'd have to tidy them away and protect them from damage. The plan was to use metal casing. In an old house like this, there's a real risk of fire, and metal casing stops electrical fires from spreading. So in a normal house, would the wires be inside the wall? They're just buried in the wall. I see. It took the whole day to wire that house properly. Every light fitting, every switch, every plug had to be secured just right. But at last, the final wire was pulled into place and screwed safely into a plastic fitting. That's that. Paddy, can you put the mains on? narrow escape, Jimmy. Just think, you might have been frazzled by that hairdryer. Yeah, I got a bit of a shock. You'd have got an even bigger shock if you'd been sitting in it. An electric shock. That's right. You won't catch me going near anything electrical again. Apart from Al's fridge. Yeah, apart from Al's fridge. <laughs> <laughs> With electric things you should always check if it's years since they were made. Ah, so make sure that they're safe. Yes, and, and the, the flex, flex isn't tatty or frayed. If wires are sealed in a plastic coat, then they'll probably work just fine. Right, but if they're old and covered in cloth... It's a really dangerous sign. Ah, if, if plugs, plugs are loose or badly wired, you might need a visit from the dock. Never take a chance with electricity. You could get a deadly shock. In the ground. 